This is a special interview from DH Bengaluru 2040. We have with us the BBMP Chief Commissioner Tushar Girinath. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Uh, sir, running uh, one of the biggest uh, municip munif municipalities in the city isn't an easy task. So, uh, we wanted to speak to you about the challenges in running the uh, BBMP and your uh, plans ahead for the future. So, uh, first question, sir. Um, we, we are always asked about the infrastructure in the city. I think that's one of the major topics that is always being discussed. So everyone has a complaint that the city's infrastructure is not up to the mark and all of those. So what do you have to say about it, sir? Yeah, for a growing city like Bangalore, which has not stopped growing for the last 20 years and is still slated to grow for another 10, 20 years uh, easily, there will always be a challenge to meet the expectation of people. and. Uh, Day by day, those expectations are also getting more and more refined because of the global uh, impact. So at any point of time, city will face this problem of infrastructure. Unless we reach a plateau, all the cities where you now see a sort of uh, equilibrium are those cities where the population has stopped growing. And now this, it cannot, it has reached its limits to the area surrounding it, the suburbans are developing and they are supporting the city. So that will remain uh, a challenge for the city because this city looks like growing for another 20 years, which is a good news and also it brings uh, the challenges of providing infrastructure. At any point of time we will have, but the amount of uh, money which has been now being put, uh, pumped into the infrastructure is enormous. Now we have to you know, use it properly mm -hmm. and design the things properly. I won't say that money is a challenge at this uh, yes. point of time. Uh, because everybody is committed, uh, Bangalore being the pride of the state and of the nation, everybody is committed to provide the funds. Now we have to be you know, more imaginative about utilizing it and utilizing it properly, designing the things properly for a futuristic uh, city and as we know, so uh, earlier we were always saying that there may be a catching up to do but here we know now that the city is going to grow easily at a very high rate of growth for the next 20-25 years. So we have to plan at uh, as on today, if we are planning for the roads or we are planning for some new city itself, we have to mm. plan for the 20-25 years domain. We had been doing a uh, 5-5 five, five years type of planning, mm. but now in my opinion we should look uh, around 20 years of planning at the least. Uh, sir, you were speaking about uh, how money is not a challenge. So if money is not a challenge, sir, uh, is there a staff crunch or well, what is it uh, that you think is needed, sir, if money is not a challenge? See, the difference between money and other resources is that money can be provided immediately. Mm. Where are all other things take time. So even if you have people, you your structure may be slightly different. Mm. So you require a different dynamic structure. Uh, for meeting the challenges. So what I am saying is money is the easily easy solution to the thing. I mean the mm. first part, mm. but it is easier part. The tuning up of the administration, making more uh, dynamic structures, getting the perfect uh, manpower for that, uh, designing uh, the things properly for the future, they take more time because you have to know then do a lot of study. Everybody want quick fixes because as you are telling, the city has grown beyond and you always feel the infrastructure gap. So we are always in the mode of catching up. In that we don't look into the uh, future vision. Mm -hmm. We are just trying to do today and survive for tomorrow. So what I am saying is other systems require some time to grow. Mm -hmm. We are at it, but you will not see the impact of it. You will see the impact of it only after a few years. You, uh, the people are, you know, the, uh, they are running short of patience, so they will be liking to have some quick fix solution tomorrow itself, which we cannot provide for a city which is growing like this and for the, uh, you know, such a high growth rate and people are coming from all over the places, etc. We have different type of challenges every day. So making a plan for a futuristic city and implementing it uh, takes uh, labor, patience and more time than the monetary resources. Uh, so sir, as you spoke about the projects, uh, no doubt BBMP has been initiating a lot of uh, projects, but uh, uh, what people also complain is, uh, while BBMP is uh, very proactive in initiating projects, uh, it doesn't stick to the deadlines. There are projects which 
have missed multiple deadlines. So why is that happening, sir? Is there something going wrong in the middle or what, what is, why is that happening, sir? Uh, see, the simpler projects like laying of the road mm -hmm. is taken up very fast and completed very fast because they have already come to some sort of you know, designing, mm -hmm. they have already come to some sort of implementation and the things are available, the contractors are available. So they will take up if you are asking the bare things to be done, the roads mm -hmm. etc. and the cleaning of drain or relaying of drains etc. They are simpler items to do. But when you make a design for let us say a network of roads, roads mm -hmm. which are having a different type of uh, what you call uh, design, I mean design which is uh, very very futuristic which can take uh, care of the future uh, problems then you have to think about uh, various type of utilities which go below that more mm. than what you think above the road you should think about below the road yes. our BWSSB is C1 network mm. our BWSSB power line I mean water lines power lines of KPTCL Bescom and if you see this city uh, we had traditionally having uh, roads which were catering to the small neighborhood around so the only right of way given to every agency was road. Hmm. Uh, in the last so-called flood which was localized in particular area, we tried to lay a particular pipe, pipeline of around 200 to 300 meters. When we dug that, heaps of cables, heaps of uh, pipes, everything was laid. So, so much so that when we have completed the work, we were not finding the space to put the things inside. So the city has grown because of its various requirements which have been uh, met by a sort of uh, ad hoc solution at that point mm. of time. So it was required, so bandwidth was required, cable was required, so they had laid in whichever mm. manner mm. they could and hardly any regulation was put. So you, you have to think about a city which is growing from a base of around 10 years back if you see 2011 population was 85. Now we are projecting it in 10 years itself uh, 142. No, for the whole Bangalore mm. city, I mean for the Bangalore district and for our city 1 crore 32 lakhs. So the city which is growing this way, people have made their own roads, people have made their own uh, pathways for mm. various type of cables mm. etc. Mm. So when you go for a systematic design, you face a lot of challenges. That is why our work gets hampered as you were saying, mm. certain things will do very fast. Other things, there are so many important cables going now that you ask them to now clear it, it becomes a problem. Then we have large number of uh, very sensitive uh, installations and institutions around mm -hmm. uh, which have uh, been long been here and uh, they are doing very, very strategic work. Their work should not be uh, disturbed at all. It has a very, very uh, uh, far reaching implications. So we have to think and uh, discuss everything with them. It takes time. So each inch of land also becoming very costly. If the people. I mean, uh, we could have requested people to leave some mm -hmm. land without thinking about compensation, etc. Now it is becoming very, very difficult. So earlier mm -hmm. days, you could have laid roads and people would have waited, okay, BBMP will one day give it to the government, mm -hmm. they are saying, now nobody is ready to give. Each uh, square inch will be some uh, tens of thousands. Mm -hmm. So one acre will become crores. Mm -hmm. So that way, we, there is a lot of negotiation going on. Mm -hmm. And we, in the culture in which we are, we do not uh, go very aggressive and uh, you know, abrasive. So we are not so aggressive because people are there and we are, when we are taking land, their livelihood should not be disturbed. If you see other places, I will not name them, there had been a tendency to know if a government project is there without uh, bothering, we will uh, complete it. But when it comes here, we take care of all the stakeholders. There are a large number of voices. Mm -hmm. They may not be ultimately heard, but we take the time for uh, hearing. Mm -hmm. So th that has got its own uh, ramifications. But projects are happening. The bigger projects face this problem. Again, money may not be that much of a constraint mm -hmm. there. Uh, so like you rightly said, uh, it's not BBMP is not a standalone body. It has to work alongside a lot of other body, maybe BWSSB or PESCOM. Uh, so every time, sir, we see an accident maybe or anything, uh, there has always been a blame game between agencies. Is there any coordination problem, sir? Yeah, uh, coordination had always been an issue, I mean, not only with the with the various departments, if you see any department, within it, it's functioning, any department you take, do you leave BBMP, any organization, any department has their own internal, any department will have uh, its own internal uh, wings. And there also you require coordination. So coordination is one thing which you require 
for any uh, organization which has human resources, and every organization has human resources, so that mm. is a problem. But in our case, we have large number of agencies to give them the autonomy to do the work. You have to see whether the coordination problem is such that all should have been brought into one, mm. then whether they would have had the flexibility and autonomy to do the work. I was also the BWSSB yes. chairman for four years. I always felt that chair, and being chairman of BWSSB, I am in a position to do much better than mm. being a part of the BBMP. Mm -hmm. So I would say that the autonomy which has been provided had been of great help. A bit of uh, coordination problem will remain. For that purpose, we have to have institutions. And right now, we have brought the uh, chief secretary is the linchpin. Mm. Uh, she calls us all and we sort out our problem very amicably. And some uh, policy issues are also decided. So it is not that the coordination is not looked very seriously by the government. They are very, very serious about it. And uh, the chief secretary herself is uh, heading the coordination uh, wing of all the departments. So we are seeing, seeing a lot of improvement. It has been happening for the last uh, few years. So now we are also learning, the committee also learns from its own experiences and uh, every day we are on an improvement path. Uh, so the recent uh, developments like the voter data theft or the uh, floods that the city witnessed, it has no doubt put the BBMP under the bad light. Uh, so what are your plans to you know, uh, rebuild the trust of people in the uh, civic body, on the civic body and uh, uh, to make it more citizen friendly, what are your plans sir? No, I will not comment upon anything related to uh, voters or voters uh, list or voting etc. Uh, so far as uh, floods are concerned, I would say with all confidence that we had despite facing the wettest year, uh, I mean wettest uh, monsoon, wettest season uh, of the last century or so, the recorded history, we had done quite well to see that the areas which would have been traditionally inundated had not been inundated. Mm. So if you see, despite having almost 60% uh, more rainfall, we 60 to 70%, now it is around 100% also, 1900 something now it will be. So it is almost 100% of the normal rainfall. If you see that and compare the inundation in the earlier years, hardly the places uh, got flooded. Where they got flooded also, it was not severely impacted mm -hmm. and we have undertaken the drive to remove the encroachments from our storm water drains. We are doing a lot of work in reclaiming the uh, storm water drains and uh, making a better network of uh, large calways or uh, the drain system which will surely lead to, to a better uh, city. So flood proofing of course whatsoever we do. If you see tomorrow also if it rains mm -hmm. there will be one feet of uh, water on the road. There are uh, some systems which we can put in so that it can be reduced. But we cannot predict the climate change, we cannot predict the amount of rains which are going to come. So we are in touch with the World Bank to finance us on uh, flood proofing. There are a lot of technical discussions going on. Uh, we are also thinking whether we can uh, use the public spaces below that and make some sump or tank to get the water collected there for temporary and then pump it out so that uh, for the time being when there is very intense rain, uh, there is no flooding in the neighborhood. So we are uh, doing a lot of things and then uh, on the lake front, mm -hmm. we are putting automated uh, gates to see that when in the lean season some water is allowed to go, so uh, when it is really rainy and uh, some uh, huge influx of water is there, it can be absorbed in the lakes. So we are doing that also. and then. Uh, Flooding, as I told you, was exaggerated heavily only because of 100 meter. And mm -hmm. that time also, the other part of the road was free. Mm -hmm. If it had been a great flood, people would not be coming out. They were all mm -hmm. coming out and moving around and that is why they could see this 100 meter of flooding. Had it been a great flood, then it would not have been, uh, no, people will be bothered about their own houses. So what I am saying is that 100 is blown out of proportion because of some, uh, of course, uh, I mean, fear of the people, and there was an eco space. Uh, I mean, that was a big, uh, big place for the people to go, and a large number of seats are there. So, people were obstructed from going inside. That is how it became uh, that much big. Otherwise, if you see, except for few areas and few apartments, we uh, had not faced problem. 
Uh, so you've introduced very effective plans like decentralization of uh, works and all of it. So going ahead, sir, uh, what are your plans uh, to make the management or administrative effective and more people friendly? What are your plans? Sir? You uh, may be aware and you are aware that Bangalore is a very huge city. It is 800 square kilometer and a huge population. We have eight zones. So they should be treated as eight independent cities. And that is why the BBMP Act provides for the zonal committees and zonal commissioners. First time in the history we are having zonal commissioner IS officers who are being appointed very high level uh, bureaucrats who are now manning the zones. So th we have to give more and more power to the zone. There is no uh, doubt about it. They also have to exercise those powers. Right now since we have not been giving them enough of power, there is this phase when even if you give the power, you know, feel how to use it. So we are in that phase, but unless we give as much of powers and powers and the responsibilities corresponding, I mean the responsibilities are the first thing for which we are giving mm -hmm. powers. If those responsibilities are met at the zone, then there is no need for the people to come to the headquarters. Our idea is to do only the bigger things at the headquarters mm -hmm. and allow the smaller things to be settled there only. So we, we make the plans. The plans should be finalized at the zone level by taking inputs from the ward, what committees have to sit and uh, you know, do some sorts of thinking. Whatsoever we are doing at the center, my first uh, thing is to make it available to the people all across so they know what we have approved. Uh, because they may not have been uh, intricately, in, intricately involved in making the plan, mm -hmm. they will come to know. So all of our websites are now publishing the plan of works. You can see in your ward which works are being undertaken so that you can supervise properly. I had always been telling them that there are a large amount of money going into the maintenance aspect of our infrastructure. So there is a park, lake, a street light for which we continuously make payment. There may be some, uh, you know, for the works, there may be some shortage of fund at one point or the other. But the government approved uh, works are on a very, very fast track. The money is also coming almost at the same time as the bill is being paid. So those works should be uh, looked into in greater detail by the citizenry because there is nothing more potent and important than the citizen watch on our working. Uh, we may introduce a number of uh, measures, but the people have also to demand that and see whatever structure has been and what it is now, had been and what it is now. So now we cannot go back to the uh, you know, centralization. We have to enforce it more and more. And at all point of time, people should demand more and more decentralization. And it should run from uh, the headquarters down to the uh, places, I mean, to, down to the wards at one point of time. But first step itself is the zones. We are strengthening mm -hmm. them. We are giving uh, uh, ward-wise funds to make mm -hmm. a plan. Mm -hmm. so we are fixing the amount per ward. They are not centralizing and taking up some big work at the cost of the wards. Mm -hmm. So that type of planning is happening. There also we are telling them the certain f important works and all across they should be undertaken. For that we are uh, earmarking the money. And the people have to decide. Suppose the maintenance of park, they can decide. Mm -hmm. So all those things, now we are involving uh, more and more, though there is uh, no body at this point of time. Mm -hmm. uh, but the structures are being uh, put in place so that as and when a body comes, etc., citizens will not feel that they, got, they were t being treated one way, now they are being treated in some other way. So we are making those efforts. Yes, sir. Thank you, Thank sir. You Thank you for much. joining us.